Everyone's different here at the Canopy Workspace, different organisations, projects and specialisms. But here inside the Entopia building, there's also a common goal that brings us together. There's a collective desire to accelerate change and sustainability is at the heart of it. The Canopy is all about collaboration, a community sharing and learning from each other's experiences. And this is Canopy Connect, a podcast where you can get to know your fellow members at the Canopy. This time on the podcast. Hi, my name is David Coleman. I'm the Chief Product Officer at a company called IV42. So, let's connect. IV42 is a technology company, and more specifically, we're a technology company that deals in trust in helping people build trust so what typical technologies do people think of when you talk about trust technologies where you have things related to security like cryptography and what have you Um, but we also have some more recent technologies like blockchain um, and distributed ledger technology so so we're a technology company that is leveraging and building our own technologies to try and help people in in business contexts um, build trust in whatever their business process is it's been uh, an interesting journey for IOV42. The company itself has been around for it's over six years now. It was originally founded on the basis of, of building a distributed ledger technology. So that's where we started our journey and that's how we really got into this area of, of trust technologies. But more recently, our, our journey, you know, often people talk about a technology, a good technology that's looking for a problem isn't really useful technology at all. And so we focus much more on what are some of the real problems that can be solved with, with such a technology. And we, you know, we looked at all different kinds of things. We ended up really looking at sustainability and more specifically in traceability. We realized that traceability in relation to sustainability in particular is an area fraught with all kinds of issues, things like fraud, just the mechanisms of how information is shared, increasing regulation, putting huge burden on organizations particularly the organizations trying to do the right thing and so we started to apply that technology into that space and we're focused at least for now very much on commodities that have contributed in the past to deforestation so there's regulation coming out that has come out rather but will be enforced in particular in Europe next year it's called the EU deforestation regulation and a big part of trying to meet the requirements of that regulation is traceability knowing where your imported goods Um, have come from right back to the point of origin but also being able to trust that being able to trust the data that is being shared if you're being held to account for that data how do you know you can trust that data so we've built and we're building a platform which helps with the whole collection of that data the sharing and distribution of that data and really importantly the trust in that data so typically if we are working with the organization there are there are two challenges that that we need to help them overcome in regards to what it is we do so firstly it's understanding and framing the the challenges in their business and particularly around trust. So it's funny that our, our system really models what we do for trust anyway. It just builds on that and builds, you know, uh, technology to help with that. So there's a real key part which is helping them understand how do you bring trust into a in, in their system how do we fix the problems of trust around their around their business so we will actually sit down with them preferably with a whiteboard and we will get them to talk through their, their processes their, their business how it works and where they see the issues are and then we would point out and and take them on that journey to understand how can you fix the problems that they that they that they've expressed um, using our technology so it's a very generally a very interactive thing my background is a technologist, so I've been a software engineer and an architect, and I've worked from anything from startups to big ent- enterprises, and I've been primarily in the financial industry. And to be honest, I ended up in this area kind of by accident. I've always been very, very passionate about problem solving. It's just what drives me, and, and the software process is very creative, so I, I just enjoy problem solving and being creative in that regard Um, but I was very happily working at a bank I was running a big program there which I'd got off the ground and I got funding for Um, and then a friend of mine said oh why don't you come along to this blockchain hackathon that Reuters um, were running and I was like I'm not that interested yeah I knew a little bit about blockchain but I was like you know I've got my thing I'm quite happy where I am but he was quite persuasive and in the end um, I I went along and we spent the weekend at, at this Reuters hackathon put together um, a fun little project and we had to pitch it and we had to pitch it everywhere from the you know as if it was a business pitch not just the technology but but everything market and everything really enjoyed it and we ended up winning 
And it really sort of gave me a, more of an appreciation of how blockchain and DLT could be used. Um, I know a lot of people's experiences around Bitcoin and, and what have you, and there's quite a lot of negative um, connotations in blockchain. Um, but really, as a technology, you know, Bitcoin's an application of the technology, it's not the technology. And so what you can do, it started to kind of excite me. And then Reuters said, right, you guys need to come back to our next one to defend your title. Um, this time they held it in Zug in Switzerland. The bank I was working at got wind of it and they were like, well, we can get some PR from this. So they actually sponsored us to go and, and we went and ended up winning again. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, and it got me a little bit more immersed into this sort of trust technology and, and some of the ideas of where it could be applied. If I was going to reflect on where the company's been and our ambitions for the future, I think you'd probably say from a, from a, from a startup perspective, we've done everything the wrong way around. <laughs> We very much built a technology and then went and tried to find the problem it could solve, which is like classic textbook. You read it everywhere. Like, don't do that. And, and in a way, I think you kind of like, yeah, of course I wouldn't do that. And then when you're in it, you kind of don't necessarily realize you're doing it. <laughs> so it's been a real journey of sort of discovery, certainly for myself, in terms of what it means to be a startup, what it means to try and find product market fit. And also sometimes as well, particularly as a technologist, technologists I think can get very, well, I think anyone can, but as a technologist, you can get very attached to the technology. And so for me, it's been a real learning and for the organization, a real learning about the technology is key, absolutely. But without the problem, the, the technology is, is worthless. And so there's an element of we've had to discover what is our short term goals? What is our long term ambitions? But you kind of got to hold those long term ambitions to a certain extent with an open hand because they, they, they may change. You've got to be willing to pivot. You've got to be willing to say, right, if I don't solve the short term challenges, then I'll never have the opportunity to achieve the long-term ambitions. So the easiest way for an, for an organization to get in touch with us, if they want to, you know, maybe they think our technology is useful, but we're also happy to, we love to just to collaborate anyway. So we, we'd love to talk to people about their challenges, about what our lessons learned. You know, we really, there's so much we can learn from each other. But the easiest way to, to find us is through our website, which is iov42.com. So relatively short, but that's where you can find out more information about us and, and how to get in contact. One of the things about the technology that we work in, and I think it's actually one of the bigger impacts of blockchain and DLT than, than the technology itself, and that it is a technology that requires collaboration. And I think maybe partly shaped by this fact of the technology, I think a lot shaped by the, the team that we've built, but we're an organization that really thrives on collaboration. In fact, the whole point of our solutions is actually bringing people together and collaborating and I think some of the challenges that we're you know organizations um, like ourselves and many of the other organizations in Canopy who are working on sustainability these are problems that are, are entirely going to rely on on businesses and organizations coming together and collaborate so we're very very open to collaboration we we already have a good number of partners and people we work with we're very open to anyone and there may be you know people coming thinking actually we have a traceability problem or we're looking for a technology that can help bring trust to things we can collaborate at that level we're also willing just to collaborate at a, 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 a different level where we're talking about sharing ideas about how how we can solve problems how we can go about building successful businesses our technology is about collaboration and us as an organization is about collaboration so we're very very open to to anyone who wants to sort of just have a chat or someone who may want to explore uh, our technology and how it could help them with their offering thanks for checking out this episode of canopy connect log in to your office r d profile to connect with your canopy neighbors just head to the members page and find them this is a Canopy podcast made by New Allotment. The Canopy is part of Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership. Thank you for listening.